Hello, insiders. This week, I have a very special guest interview. We have Lavro from the Studio Mobile team on the show. Welcome to Creator Insider Lavro. Hello, insiders. Laura here <laughs> from the Studio Mobile team. I'm very excited to talk to you. Is this your first time on Creator Insider? It is my first time. I did join Google just a couple of months back. A lot of people out there are saying, oh, I see Tom talking. He must be talking about YouTube Studio and getting rid of Classic. But we're not here to talk about that at all. In fact, well, maybe we are. Because the reason you're here is because we are no longer spending very much resources on Studio Classic, which means we can do great things like make Studio better, but also Studio Mobile. So for folks out there who may not be familiar with Studio Mobile, like what is it, what's the purpose of it, and what have you been up to? Studio Mobile is a great companion if you're using desktop. It offers you a lot of things. It also has a dashboard like desktop has where you can see you know, how your analytics is doing, uh, how your recent video is doing, if you have any comments, what's your recent uploads. And actually, just recently, together with the analytics team, we launched a since published card on the dashboard. Uh, so, the, and this has been very positively perceived by the by the community. And things you can do is you can check your analytics for the video or for the channel, or you can reply to comments. You can do metadata editing, uh, so change title, description, thumbnail, all of these things you can do on the go. And we are looking to add even much much more things this year. Yeah, so that since published thing is uh, otherwise informally known as the snapshot card, right? Correct. That's what you're talking about, right? What else are you thinking of doing? What's on the horizon, Lavro? So we have a lot of things planned. So we are actually looking into more improvement in analytics. Uh, we're working close uh, with the analytics team. Um, recently, I mean, the team has just started growing, and so we need to do a lot of kind of like cleanup improvements. We did a lot of navigational improvements. Um, you might have seen the account picker move to the top right, and we cleaned up the left side navigation. Mm -hmm. um, also, the team has been working to improve the upload reliability. So if you upload from mobile, uh, that's on the YouTube main app, this is much better now. Some cool stuff that is coming to the app is the card we just talked about, so your last video performance. But we are also bringing click-through rate and impressions to mobile. Uh, they have already launched, and very soon you will have dark mode. Uh, so you will have a much, much clearer, much nicer view. Uh, but we don't stop there. We want to improve um, analytics, comments, metadata editing, the video list, uh, and the upload flow. And for analytics, we we are still like looking what's the most impactful for you guys. For comments, we'll be uh, focusing on sorting and filtering comments. So it will be easier for you to find the most important comments to respond to. For metadata editing, we will be adding uh, mid-roll ads, and we will improve the navigation and UI of the metadata editing. It's quite outdated. Uh, for video list and restrictions, many of you have mentioned that um, seeing copyright strikes or seeing issues with your video is critical for you on the go. So we will invest into this. And last but not least, the upload flow is also quite dated. And we'll bring new settings there, for example, scheduling a video or adding it to a playlist. Wow. That's quite <laughs> a that's, you're, you're gonna be busy, man. Like this, so just so we can manage people's expectations, the those things that you listed, they're not coming out tomorrow. What what's the high level time horizon we're talking about? Yeah, most of these things will probably need like a quarter or two to launch. Well, what are you what are you guys debating about on the team where the Creator Insider Nation could give feedback? Because you're probably doing some hard prioritization. You can't do everything at once. You know, what are some areas that you'd want uh, input from the audience on that to help you make a better product for all creators? Yeah, we would definitely love to know what is of the highest importance for you guys. Um, we have done a lot of research. We talked to various creators directly um, from various different continents. We went through a lot of the feedback that you guys sent through the Send Feedback button. This is super helpful. Please keep doing this. Um, we actually even launched a poll on Creator Insider. So thanks for all the 1,000 people who replied on that one. 
Um, but please let us know in the comments below what you think would be most impactful for you. So um, we're working on a couple of things in analytics. If you have something particular you want to see there, let us know on comments. We're working on sorting and filtering. Um, so that's already in the pipeline. Metadata editing, we know you guys or many of you have mentioned you want to see uh, mid-roll ads. We will add an auto yes, no mid-roll ad selector. Um, let us know if that suffices for you or if you really need to place it on the time spot. And uh, let us know what you think about video restrictions, you know, copyright claims and uh, brand safety appeals. Is this something you want to solve on the go? Is this important for you? I would have to bet that a lot of people would want to initiate a appeal of the good old yellow icon from their phone. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what people in the comments say. What's your what's your, your vision for um, the Studio Mobile app in terms of uh, like having every last feature that someone needs so they could never have to go to desktop or prioritizing like, you know, these power features that we think are particularly useful on mobile, but that means you can't have the full comprehensive mobile support. Like how, how are we thinking about that uh, yeah, trade-off? This is a really good question. And uh, we have been uh, looking at creator feedback. We have been at looking at usage. We've been discussing this a lot within the team, like how, do we reach, how do we improve mobile and how do we improve mobile so that it gives most value to most people? What we say for now is we want to focus on the most important journeys for everyone and we want to improve the journeys overall. But that doesn't mean you will get every single feature. That just means the most important tasks you want to do, you will somehow be able to do on mobile, more as kind of like a companion to desktop as a first mm -hmm. step. So for example, let's take the mid-roll ads. Um, you will be able to activate them or deactivate them, but you currently don't have an editor on mobile to build it. So we'll start with helping you achieve your goals, but sometimes in a lighter form than on desktop. And as time progresses, we hope to continue closing this gap so that eventually you can do most things also on mobile. What's our take on uh, end screens? I don't think you can add them on the mobile app now. Are we thinking about that? or? Yeah, so we uh, saw a lot of feedback uh, around end screens. People mm -hmm. would like to add end screens on the go. Uh, this is, again, one of these areas where it's not easy to bring an entire fully-fledged editor uh, to the mobile app. We have looked into possibilities to add end screens from previous videos or from templates. Um, and the team is still evaluating how to how to best do this. So if this is something you guys want to know, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. And then what's our take on like uh, the the feature set between the iOS app and the Android app? Are they pretty comparable? Yeah, iOS and Android, they're more or less the same. Uh, we also want to try to keep them the same uh, because we don't want to differentiate our users experience our app just because they have a different phone. Yeah, you mentioned earlier dark mode. Um, that has been asked for on YouTube Studio, the desktop uh, experience for a while now. Mm -hmm. And we're definitely thinking about it. Uh, it sounds like the mobile app is a little further along. How real will dark mode be on the Studio mobile app? So <laughs> dark mode on the Studio mobile app is super real. Um, if you're an Android user, um, chances are one out of 10 that you already see it. Um, I can also demo it to you how it looks. Now, if they're, if they're one of the lucky one out of 10, how would they know? It won't be on by default, right? They, do they have to turn it on? They, they would have to turn it on. Um, ah. I, can, I can demo how it works. Yeah, let's try. So here is a quick demo of the YouTube Studio app. So this is the YouTube Studio app. You will see uh, we are starting on the dashboard, like on desktop. Um, there is, um, we have done various improvements recently. For example, we improved readability um, and we added dark mode. So if you would like to activate dark mode, you can go here at the top right on the account picker. And then you will see there will be a new settings, which is called dark mode. This is currently only rolled out to one out of 10 people. So only if you're one out of the 10, you will see these extra settings. Please be patient. It will be rolling out to other folks soon. 
So you activate dark mode and you see that everything now is in dark mode. Here's my uh, playback on our conversation. Number one, that the YouTube Studio mobile app is uh, gonna get way better this year, partly because of all you wonderful creators who have moved off of Classic. Thank you very much for working with us on that. Hope you like YouTube Studio. It will also get better this year. It has already had some improvements, including the snapshot card and dark mode is coming soon. And then uh, you're wondering, you want feedback on what else people would like to see and whether or not people are okay with our kind of incremental approach, which is to say, we're not trying to replicate studio desktop in the mobile app overnight. We're trying to think about the most important journeys and then uh, provide like a companion experience that, that will often be a subset of what you can do on desktop. I think that's on spot. Right on. Is there anything else you wanted to say to the audience or get input on? Definitely always let us know in feedbacks what you think. Let us know in the comments below what would be most impactful for you. And uh, we will try to work on it as, far, as hard and as fast as we can. I actually had one more idea. Uh, we are thinking about showing and reacting to video level restrictions. And our incremental approach would say, hey, first we show you that you have issues, and then maybe a couple of months or a quarter later, we enable you to react to restrictions. Would you be okay with that? All right, well, thanks, Lavro, for coming on the show. And we're excited to get you back on as you launch more of this stuff and more goodness comes to mobile. And in the meantime, everybody out there, stay safe and keep it real. Thanks a lot, Tom. Bye, everyone.